Hi, welcome to WiseCat. Today we're going to be talking about H5P. Now, recently there was a, a topic came up uh, in the interwebs about Lumi, the H5P editor. Now you can download this and install it to your computer, Mac, uh, Windows, or Linux, and you can also add the content to it, and then you can edit H5P files offline that you later on can save and upload to your Moodle and have them available as interactive content. But there's another way to edit uh, H5P content without using Lumi. So let's just take that away for now. And let's do it within our Moodle itself without actually leaving Moodle. So I'm going to come to my uh, Moodle right now and I'm going to sign in in this time not as Adam but as Leroy Jenkins because uh, I need a uh, teacher's account rather than an admin. So you can see I have no site administration privileges here. But I have become a teacher in this my new course which is why I've got uh, a turn editing on button and I've got my um, uh, extra tools in the left hand side including the one that's most important for our topic today the content bank so this is where you actually develop h5p content in moodle you put it in the content bank and then afterwards you can use the files in that content bank just like the the quizzes question bank you can pull that content and put it into your moodle so let's have a look at how that's done you go to the content bank and you can see right now I have no content available. I don't actually have any uh, files in here yet, but I do up here have the add button. Now this allows me to select what kind of H5P interactive content I want to make. Uh, all the types that this particular Moodle has downloaded are available. And so I can just choose the one that I want. I'll go with an accordion this time and start creating. So I can go, uh, this is my test accordion. And um, uh, very cool instrument. Uh, loved by Weird Al would be an accordion. Okay, fine. Uh, that's not exactly what this is supposed to mean, but anyway, um, I don't really care because I'm just saving it like that. Okay, so now I can have a uh, preview of it and this is how it's going to look. This is what the accordion does, right? Is it just gives you uh, a an opportunity to add titles here and have this sort of uh, animated um, reveal happen to what's, what comes next. So anyway, I've got that and I can close that now. And as you can see in my content bank, that's where we are, we're, we're in the content bank. This file now exists, the test accordion file exists. Now it exists only in the content bank. It doesn't actually exist in the course per se in that it hasn't actually been added to the course page uh, until we actually go turn editing on and add it. So let's do that. Okay, so I'm going to go down here and going to uh, add an activity resource. I'll just add it to the very top. And this is where this uh, and the activity picker, the H5P uh, appears here. So there's a little confusion going around at the moment in that you cannot actually edit H5P in here in this thing. And you used to be able to in the old version of the module you used an, an editor, an H5P content editor would appear here and you'd be able to in edit it as part of this big screen. Uh, but the new more integrated H5P uh, does not actually do that. But uh, uh, accordions. Uh, what you have to do is instead choose the package file, which, as you know, is now is stored inside the content bank. So you can actually, if you click this link here, it will. It says to open. Use this to manage your H5P files. This also means to create them. So that's just a link that'll take you to the the content bank. 
Uh, but here, we can click here and then this gives us the file picker that allows us to choose content bank, which is where the f content files are, and there's my test accordion file that I created before. So I can select then to make a copy of the file, in which case if I update it inside the uh, question bank, it won't, be, it won't affect this particular instance, or I can link to the file, which is where it will just be uh, updated uh, every time I update the content inside the content bank. So if I have this particular accordion in multiple locations, that might be very useful. Okay, select this file. And there's the file is now linked to, and I can go down here to H5P options and I can choose whether this file is going to be downloadable, embeddable, or whether the copyright button will appear. And if it's a graded activity, which this one is not, you can set the grade down here. I'm gonna set this to none. And attempt options, whether it's going to be tracked, this is not really a, a trackable thing or anything. So I can now just go to save and return and re return to course. And there I have my accordions. Now, this one being an accordion, this is all it really does. Is it just opens here. But typically for an accordion, you would actually want to embed that into the course right there. Uh, so you'd want it to actually appear here and click and it drops down. So there is a way to do that as well, but this time, this one's a little bit stranger. We're going to actually embed it in a label. So we go to a, a, add an activity or resource and we're going to choose label. Now once we choose label, you'll notice that in the Atto editor, there's this insert H5P button here. So we're going to insert H5P here. And again, we have to choose the file or the URL or file upload. So this is where we go back to our file picker, content bank, test accordion right there. Again, we have the option to make a, a copy of it and embed it inside this label or to link to the file. So I'm going to do link to the file again, uh, select this file and Ba -da -da -da. I can do the same H5P options again, and I can insert H5P. And now that H5P object is embedded inside of this, uh, well, linked, but then uh, added to a label. So uh, then I can actually save and return to course, and voila, it is visible right there. So... In, H5, in the world of H5P in a Moodle course, you can create it inside of Moodle and then you can use it wherever you can use a text editing box or you can add it as its own module. If it is its own module like uh, this uh, one uh, up here, then if you actually have say an interactive video that has questions as well embedded inside of the, the video, then those questions at the end can be submitted and a grade can be passed back that goes automatically into the grade book as well, which is a very nifty feature. Okay, so I hope this was uh, informative and uh, useful. Thank you very much and I'll talk to you again sometime soon. Cheerio!